lantern, just a flashing light, or is that something else? Mm. Hmm. Did some people right here in Central Oregon and all across the Northwest really ring in New Year with a UFO? Hmm, intriguing. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Matt McDonald. <laughs> and I'm Alicia Inns. We got phone calls here about weird flying obje objects on New Year's Eve. Folks even posted pictures on our Facebook page about this. being New Year's Eve, we had to wonder how credible they were at the moment. But it turns out Central Oregon isn't alone in this. People also spotted these bright flashing lights in California and in Medford. Kendra Kent's here now with the story. Kendra. Alicia and Matt, the couple I spoke with today swear it wasn't a floating lantern or some kind of firework display zipping around outside their bend home. Millions greeted the new year with the usual. Others say they saw something very unusual. It would stop and hover and be all shimmery like a forest fire color. Something they'd never seen before. That's really weird. Yeah, because you can see all different kinds of lights on it. This is video Pam Stewart of Ben shot outside her home on New Year's Eve. She describes a floating flashing light she saw off in the distance. A flying object she says couldn't be a lantern. And it was moving horizontal. Um, and then just off. And back here in Oregon, Eric Whitford took this photo from his Medford home and shared it with us on Facebook. No, this is not fireworks, he writes. This object came in from the left of us and then just stopped. Another appeared and both disappeared. This was really amazing to watch. Could it be a UFO? A drone? A trick of the light? Even aerial experts say that's up in the air. There was something dazzling in the sky last night, and we're not talking about New Year's Eve fireworks. Well, people from all over Northern California contacted us to report a bizarre flying object or objects. Most of the sightings happened just after midnight. News 10's George Warren spent the day trying to identify the unidentified flying objects. Well, we saw it right through the trees. It was bright enough to shine directly through the trees without any problem seeing it. Stephen Brown watched it over Sacramento. Hans Mount spotted it over Auburn. Kind of approached from over that direction and <clears throat> came across kind of slow. Did they see the same thing that Kay Pinlack saw in Stockton? Pretty much right above this palm tree here. Multiple objects, he says, captured on his iPhone. I've I seen like six bright orange color lights and they're like in, almost in a diamond or triangle shape they're, it was weird and so they started just separating you see that other one up there on the right though and not just northern california somebody posted this video from the hollywood hills on youtube multiple glowing objects out there among the new year's eve fireworks and now it's three there's more two, there's two of them no 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 there's three all two, together three, right four. no it's four, four. now in Auburn, Hans and his wife Terry saw it a few hours earlier than the other sightings. But there was no sound. That's the funny thing. Or, or the lights, you know, yeah. the usual lights. No sound, no blinking that, so. lights, just this big illuminated form. And whatever it was moved up and to the left. Uh, it hovered there for probably about 60 seconds and then it took off at a high rate of speed out of sight directly away from us and just disappeared. Now an FAA spokesman tells me that there was no unusual aircraft activity reported to the FAA last night. If this was some sort of hoax it would have to be a pretty elaborate one because it was seen by so many people all over California. Well came up and down the state which is interesting and and within hours of each other. Yeah so the earliest sighting we heard about was about 8 p.m. up in Auburn. Uh, Terry and Hans, uh, they said it was just a single single object they saw, very uh, moving unnaturally, too fast for a balloon, too slow for an airplane. Uh, in Sacramento as well, Stephen said that it was a single object hovering and then streaking away. And then of course down in Stockton, the, the multiple objects as in uh, Hollywood. That's the interesting part, that it was hovering and then it started cruising. Yeah. That suggests, yeah, it's not a balloon. Or There's some intelligent under. control of um, this thing. We are beginning tonight with those crop circles and a mystery of who or what created them in a field near Chular. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live at the scene with tonight's top story. Well, Aaron, Dan, who or what created that crop circle? That's the big mystery in this field just behind me. This is what was discovered Monday morning in the field just outside Chular. A huge crop circle in the middle of a grass field. By early afternoon, the pictures and story had gone viral, and Looky Lou started showing up in droves, hoping to get a glimpse. We heard there was something going on around aliens in, in Chula. I'm a skeptic, but this could be aliens, I don't know. I mean, I'm always willing to believe something, so 
I mean, if there's proof, then like, you can't deny proof, but right now, it looks like it's at least to me, so. There, there it is, there it is. Something happened in this field overnight. This YouTube video shows strange bursts of light near the crop circle. By daylight, this is what we saw overhead. A detailed circle that could have only been created by another life form, not humans, according to this Chular man. Um, the lines, the line of the square and the circle is specific. The mathematics and the squares uh, is the graphic, the lines, the graphic is, is special. No, no, it's possible, no, it's possible.